I'm doing it for my daughter. Show me this when we first met. I might have showed you this. I think I remember seeing that. Of her going like this? Yes. Yes, I remember you showing me that and being like, what the? Oh, that's the guy. That's just how Europeans are so hopeless. Style-wise? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I, hate, I hate it because I wish it was cool. Like, um... You know cyber look look at this. Oh good God. You know um Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven? Mm-hmm. Is that what it's called? Or is it 2070? twenty seventy? Twenty twenty seventy seven? Oh. Like I, I wanted to lo- I wanted to like love that game. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like uh It's not good? No. It's bad because it's lo- it, every stylistic aesthetic or personality or acting choice is like John Claude uh, Van Damme. Head over, to, head over to Hacker Bar. You're gonna meet Jimmy Laser Fist. He'll show you a good time, like that type. Of, I guess Red the, Eye out. It's the worst. It's it, corny. Let's let's look up um, uh, Cyberpunk 2077, but it's because it was made by Polish people. Ah, uh, really? I think so. It's CD Projekt. Polish some, people have the best aesthetic of all some time. Some stupid country. Well, they have you know the like the the Polish posters. Like there's certain things that are good, but it's like when they try to do something that's cool, it's so not cool. Well, the, yeah, the, I mean voice acting and that is a totally different animal. And I just I keep I keep getting hit with um bad voiceover too. The the voice acting in video games is um um it's such a it it, may, it makes it so I can barely enjoy video games. All of it. Oh, yeah, because you can you can tell um, like if you close your eyes and you listen, you really you really listen like you're trying to listen. You can you can tell like the guy might as well be saying um, he might as well be saying I was paid twenty five hundred dollars for this role in Hollywood studio. I was recruited by a voiceover acting company and they listened to my take. Can you believe it, guy? Oh, and when I like and like there's there's words that are like when they write. Uh, when they write dialogue and they inject conversational words, like the little words, like yo, or like um, not ums and ahs, but but words that are supposed to like you 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 pepper them into a conversation to make it more to make it clear that you're being informal or whatever. What are words that we use like that? Like, like whatever words like yeah. that when those come up it's like the like you can t- like i visualize i hear that and i imagine the actor staring at the script and be like what's it say here like yo that's what yeah. that's what i imagine yeah. when he says it yeah hey nick welcome to the podcast like yo that's cool like, that's the way it sounds thanks for having me and also <laughs> yeah 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 also i am going to try to be funny for here and the the other thing they do that I really hate is um they don't they don't make any attempt to make the the dialogue sound like it's in the scene, and this is this is where people get um this is one of these things I'm rambling autistically okay I know okay, but it's like uh seeing the forest for the trees I think is the is the phrase so when you get hung up on quality you get hung up on anything if you're not looking at something holistically if you're looking at like little details and especially if it's little details that like you have the most control over this is fuck have i talked about have i did i mention before the vietnam war thing in the vietnam war the people responsible for the war they're an entire world apart they have no idea what's happening in the war and so what they do is they fixate robert mcnamara fixates on measurable data he wants to know. I want to. I want a daily report. How many bombs are being dropped? How many troops are there? Uh, how many troops have moved from here to the, like? He wants to know like numbers, and um, the the big the big uh, f- short the big short sightedness is that for every for every Viet Cong you kill, you create five more Viet Cong in his immediate family members, his brother that wants to avenge him, the mother that is so grief-stricken, she runs with a hand grenade into a, a crowd of U.S. troops or whatever. So you create five more enemies with each enemy that you kill. So it's like, you uh, by fixating on the measurable data, you're actually, it's not, it's not, it's not that you don't know what's going on, it's that you have an even worse picture of what's going on because you're, you believe that just because something can be measured it's worth knowing. It's this is um, there's a, a boxing coach that I'm really big into, Barry Robinson, and his his thing. He talks about how science comes into sports, and it's like they measure you VO2 max, and you get on the you get on the treadmill, you put the mask on, and you see how good your blood cells are. And it's like if you're 
it's it's irrelevant if your VO2 max is an A plus if your jab defense is a D minus. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So the the thing the thing that happens with these fucking idiots in these AAA audio studios, they, they I know that they're like fixating on quality. Like they want the maximum noise reduction. They want the best microphones. They want the most vocal presence. So it's equ- it's equivalent to that mic that he has on there. This the um, Sennheiser MKE two gold uh, lav mic, like placed on the chest, getting the most. And what you get is you get it. It sounds like you are inside the voice actor's mouth. You know what I mean. Mm-hmm. So if you're watching, if you're if you're if you're in a virtual experience, if you're living through a, a laser tag arena or something, and suddenly you hear speech. And it sounds like you're fucking inside someone's mouth, okay? Which is, it's a different thing from a podcast because podcast listeners have been trained basically to recognize the sound of the Shure SM7B. So you could say any, literally anything in, uh, in his, uh, I'm a school, I like uh, rubbing pineapple on my teeth. It sounds like a podcast. Anything you say into this microphone, it sounds like a podcast. Like even if you're like, you know, like, Politicians are always in public. It's a perfect time. Mo, 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 mo. Anything random like that that means nothing is meaningless. It's, it's just not, meaningless. It's meaningless. Okay? Like, like find you know, like CEOs move from car to building. Now's that's the perfect time. The head chlorine. A f- tech company in San Francisco. Anything like that that means yeah, yeah. nothing that we would never Doesn't endorse. Even mean, yeah, yeah. It sounds like we're saying it in a podcast context because of the Sure microphone. Because of the Sure SM7B, which is responsible for everything we say. But right. um, so that's so that's a different thing. Like it's. It's fine if you're listening to a podcast and it sounds like you're inside someone's mouth because that's what you are. You're trained to think that it's a podcast. <laughs> okay, um, but in a in a video game, to to hear audio that's that that that's that clear and they they make no attempt at mixing it in such a way that it sounds like it's in the scene, uh, it's ridiculous. So let's let's look up uh, any of these. Welcome to Compecky Plaza. Please come through single file. You got it, home. Uh, <clears throat> Sir. So, like the raspiness mm-hmm. of his voice. If he was standing eight feet in front of you, you right. wouldn't hear like the vocal fry. Sir, care to explain why you're bringing a combat bot onto Compecky Plaza premises? We're arms dealers. Is he acting with a cucumber Excuse up me? his ass? Uh, care to explain why you're bringing a combat bot in Compecky Plaza? Fucking. Please accept my apologies for the confusion. <laughs> Sir. Care to explain why you're bringing a combat bot onto Compecky Plaza premises? That sounds like it's from the I Great need War. To explain myself. That sounds like something me and me and uh, Pelic would be Actually, saying in the fucking Great War. See, and they say you have to. Ah, you are here to see Takisan. Am I right? Racist. Yeah. <laughs> Please accept my apologies for the confusion. And this is this isn't even that, that bad. This is like the best of the best in terms of um, like. They go to that one. Audio people. Brett, get out before you land me in the shit. First, tell me what you know about Evelyn. Fine. Heard a customer did a number on her. But that's all I know. You just don't give up, do you? Got no- Listen, have you seen Evelyn? Need to talk to her. Is that Michelle that's Rodriguez? Important. It might actually be. So I think it is. I can tell by that like heroin using voice of hers. Can you just answer my question? Actually, I don't, I don't think it's her. I think Michelle Rodriguez problem. would have done you know a better better job just by default. All right, enough. Get lost. Eat each other's. Can you look up you uh, Judy, something. voice actress? But this is like the best of the best, like biggest budget project, and it's it's so it's so dry. And if you love the game. Well. Oh, wow. Yeah, because I was. I, it sounds the same, but um, Michelle Rodriguez would have, by default, without any direction, delivered those lines better, just because she's an actress and like you know decent at acting. That mm. was. It's just. It was, it was just so bad. If you if you love the game, or if you're if you're awestruck by the graphics, or your or whatever is going on, that kind of immerses you enough that the voiceover is. Like manageable, it's acceptable, it's fine. You you don't notice it. But if you're if you're looking at a uh, if you're looking at it objectively, and if you don't have any um, love for the game, or you're not having fun being immersed in it, then it's like it's it's like it's it's, it's as bad as like a college project in terms of in terms of well, the voice acting. That thing you were talking about with um, measurements 
on like boxing mm-hmm. and like you can measure people like the football is doing that now mm-hmm. like and i remember like they're like measuring you know like 40 times and this and that like one guy runs a 4-4 one guy's like a four you know oh my god this guy runs a 4 one nine. Mm-hmm. almost never is the fastest guy in the league mm-hmm. the best one mm-hmm. the best receiver mm-hmm. like it's just so i don't know why they get so hung up on it and they're always like whoa this guy ran a four. like it is a feat of strength yeah or a feat of physical prowess or whatever but that guy's not going to be like odds are you'd be a you know, a better man a betting man would be like no that's not the guy mm-hmm. the guy is like like I'd be betting on like hips mm-hmm. like hip size and shit mm-hmm. you know like guys that don't get hurt guys mm-hmm. would I'd look at like bone structure and game time like guys that just play fucking football that are like nah man when I play a game I'm a, I'm like playing like out of my mind mm-hmm. like mental block out you can't measure that like you can well you know what part part of it is that like um. The the thing um, decisions are made by committee now in in every sphere, um, car design, sports management, everything, video game. It's all being the decisions are made by committee, and the way it used to be, like the way it would it would it, honestly it would have just been the intuition of like an old white guy who yeah. knew. Old Dale. Like, that's the one right there. Uh, Dale. That's the guy who's going to make it. Jamarnowski, some Russian guy. But you can't you can't do that anymore. You can't have, um, you can't leave those types of decisions up. Like, why are we doing it this way? Because Dale Jamarnowski said it was so. The bit, the chief, the chief laid it down. And, and he made the, doom. The, that just doesn't happen anymore. They don't do that anymore. Um, so, yeah, they've, because of this uh, managerial, like, anarchy, They've defaulted. They have to make decisions based on what they can measure, and what you can what you can measure is not necessarily connected to what your what your goal is. That's a sad reality. It's Everybody's crazy. too scared to lose their job, is what it is. Mm-hmm. Or you know, n- leaning like a, a a game studio would never be like, yeah, we're gonna have old. What's the guy's name? Dale Jamanowski. What's the real Dale Jamanowski's name though? Um, you know the one. Oh, the uh, John yep. Carmack? John Carmack. Yeah. Well, that's, I mean, that's crazy because John Carmack made Rage, which is like the shittiest game ever. Right, because it but always goes off the rails. It's, it's. I mean, the one, another thing is like, you, you you would never get blamed for resorting to a data, data-driven data approach like that. Like, you would never, like, no one would, have, Nick, what are you doing? You, you, uh, you hired a bad guy. Like at that at that point you can just go well the data showed here's the data right here he was the fastest in the 440 so I had to do it like that's another reason why it's because people are scared of losing their jobs it's easy to um, if you if you have data you can you can kind of ha- uh, defend yourself when when shit goes awry yeah even though e- even if you know that you're not making the best decision it's like the saying um, nobody ever got fired for uh, buying IBM. So the reason why I the reason why IBM computers were still like being bought by businesses when they were when they were an inferior product and when when uh, other companies were coming up and making better stuff is because if you were if you were an IT manager at one of these companies you you at least would not get fired for buying IBM you know what I mean because mm-hmm. it was the it was the de facto it was the throne it was the one that you that was seen as the sensible choice. So it's like you don't you don't take the the job risk of doing something in a in a way that requires critical thinking. You just do the you take the option that uh, keeps you from getting fired. The beginning of the end. Yeah. The soul suck. It is the beginning of the end. 